Hi, Gary. It's great to have this opportunity to speak with you a little bit about what's going on in the, the business climate today and the role IT plays and what is happening with the CIO. Maybe you can start with talking about the business climate. What are companies faced with today? What are those challenges? Uh, and what, what do we have to think about as we go forward? You know, I think there are uh, at least three kind of fundamental make or break challenges for organizations today. First, we all know we live in this world of accelerating change that kind of renders old business models obsolete a lot faster than it used to. So I think every company around the world is really struggling to you know, answer this question, can we, can we be as nimble as change itself? Can we change at the rate of change? And of course, you see a lot of organizations today that have kind of fallen behind the change curve. In fact, you see entire industries like you know, the old music industry or publishing, or I would argue healthcare education that are really struggling. So for me, the most important question for any company today is, is that question, are we outrunning change? And, and again, the answer for many organizations is not. So we need to build organizations that are fundamentally more adaptable. I would say that's kind of challenge number one, who, who are able to change and reorient without having to go through some kind of valley of the shadow of death experience before that, that reality dawns on them. I think secondly, if you want to have a very adaptable company, we need companies that are enormously innovative. You know, we live in a world where the competitive intensity is getting, you know, just so much tougher that the old barriers that used to protect the incumbents, the regulatory barriers, technology barriers, those things are crumbling down. You know, you see a couple of kids write some code in Estonia which becomes Skype and threatens the infrastructure of the old telecom industry. So this is happening, you know, all across every industry, and the only antidote to that kind of margin-crushing competition is going to be more innovation. But there again, there are very few companies, I would argue today, that have really made innovation the work of every single employee, that have really trained thousands of employees to be business innovators, that have made it easy for employees to get access to a bit of experimental capital to try a new idea. So that's a big challenge for most organizations where innovation is still kind of a project, a department, something that happens once in a while. And then I think thirdly, you can't have an innovative company unless you have a company where people are truly inspired to come to work every day and they're, they're willing to give you the gifts of their passion and their creativity and their initiative. And again, when we look at the data, we know that in most organizations, it's a small minority of employees who are truly engaged in their work, right, who are, who are there emotionally as well as physically. And maybe that didn't matter, you know, back in the industrial economy or even in the knowledge economy, but in the creative economy where, you know, wealth creation is dependent on getting those gifts of imagination, creativity, we got to find places where people are really excited to work. So for me, Jim, those are the three big challenges, you know, a company that can change as fast as change itself, a company where innovation is everyone's job, and an organization that truly, you know, merits and deserves the best contributions that everyone can give every day. Well, that's interesting, Gary, because what you just described is really paramount to what CIOs face. Um, if you think of where CIOs started years ago, um, what was their mission? Their mission in many respects was know the technology, bring the technology, and technology in and of itself was viewed as the innovation. Well, that's not true today anymore, and the role of the CIO is changing. It's not just about the innovation. It's how are we taking those enablers driving business innovation, not just technology innovation, and then having all the things, for example, in the CIO organization meet that. So what is your view in terms of the CIO role itself and the challenges IT and the CIO are facing in the context of what you just described as the business challenges? So I think, boy, that's a, it's a good question. And since I'm not a CIO, I'll just give you my perspective and you can tell me whether it makes any sense or not. But I think you know, where you started there, that's, that's definitely my experience, that most CIOs over the last few years they worried primarily about strengthening the run the business system. So logistics, supply chain, customer support, you know, the internal data that people need to run the company, uh, you know, lowering transaction costs, improving reliability, and so on. And that's going to be really important. But I would add kind of two other things to that kind of run the business charter. What we see around the world is that technology has also had a huge impact on business models. In fact, you know, most of the companies with interesting, new, exciting new business models are companies that are leveraging technology to do that in some way or another. And so, you know, you see it in education, you see it in obviously the social media world, you see it in entertainment, um, and, and you see it in any industry that kind of has a, a high knowledge component or information component. And so CIOs also need to be business model innovators today. They need to be the ones that, you know, are, are kind of looking from the customer back, are saying, how do we use what we know about these new technologies to fundamentally reinvent the customer experience? 
And then beyond that, if you take these, these, these kind of organizational challenges we face of becoming more adaptable and a more engaging place to work and more innovative, the reality is it's our management processes that get in the way of doing that. You know, if, if, if you think about it, over the last 100 years, the most important technology that human beings invented was the technology of management itself. How do we organize, allocate, plan, hire, motivate? And, and, and all that innovation and management allowed us to build companies like Dell that are enormously efficient, can do things at global scale, can do them reliably. But those management, you know, that, 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 that management uh, technology was all built around, you know, focus, efficiency, control, alignment. Now we go, gosh, now we need organizations that are incredibly nimble and innovative and inspiring. So I think we're going to have to think as, as a CIO community is, how do we use technology to reinvent not only kind of the business processes, supply chain, so on, not only the, 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 the business model, but now also the management model? Because I think that technology is going to have a huge role to play in making organizations more adaptable, more innovative, more engaging for folks to work. And, and you see how technology has already changed our lives. It has to fundamentally change our work lives as well. And for most employees, that's not true yet.